Hey guys, today I'm doing a makeup tutorial inspired by the new movie that's coming out called Cinderella. And I'm just doing basically a Cinderella meets 2015 super glam, super makeup dramatic look. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and let's get on to the video. Okay, you guys are going to have to forgive me because I came home from school and I took off all my eye makeup. But mascara doesn't come off unless you literally scrub your entire face. So yes, I have mascara on my eyes and my face makeup and eyebrows are on. But I would have started with that minus the mascara for the tutorial anyway. So okay, let's move on now. I'm going to start off by priming my eye with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer and I'm going to put this on my lid up to my brow bone so that any eyeshadow that I put on lasts all night. Oh, too much. Okay, cool. Go, go me. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and take some regular scotch tape, put it on the back of my hand so it's not as sticky on my face. In. And then I'm going to put this on my eye and make it as even as possible and this is going to give me a super defined edge which is what I'm looking for. So I'm kind of just like elongating my lower lash line and that looks pretty good. Alright, so we are doing a cut crease which means that it's a gradual fading process which means you guys need to work with me and that we need to have patience and we will get through this together. So first off, grab a small definer brush like this, this is a MAC 219. And then I'm taking this palette that I got at IMAX. It doesn't have a name, but I'll link one for BH Cosmetics. That's basically the exact same palette. I think it is the exact same palette. Pretty sure it's from the same distributor. This one just doesn't have a name. And I'm first gonna go in with this dark blue and mix it a tiny, tiny bit with this black. Literally just the smallest bit. So the majority of it is this blue. So then with this color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my crease where I want the crease of my eye to begin. Now I'm going to make this kind of low because if we make it too high, it actually looks kind of drag. So I'm just going to put this um, a little bit higher than my normal crease and I'm just kind of making where I want my crease to be. I'm holding my brush up on a slant as opposed to straight and down so that it can really blend out the top for me and we can keep the lid nice and defined. So then what I'm going to do is just wipe this off on a tissue and then just go in and flick the product up a little bit and this is just going to help blend it. Now after we have that defined crease, I'm going to go in with this brush. This is a Sigma E45. I'm going to go in with this blue and mix it a little bit with this blue. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm then going to put it over top of that blue and just bring it up towards my crease a little bit. Focusing on that outer corner, but then up towards the crease. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of the lightest blue once again and just put it over top, literally the slightest bit because I don't want this to go all the way up to the brow. I just want it to blend out really nicely on the top. And now we're going to move on to the lid. The lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. I'm going to take this base from NYX. It is the NYX White Eyeshadow Base in ESP01. If you guys have watched my videos since literally like zero subscribers, um, then you know that I would use this as my everyday eye primer. Anyway, I'm going to take this on a brush. This is from Rite Aid. It's just a small synthetic, synthetic brush. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pack this onto my lid. And I'm going to be kind of sloppy down on the lower part of my lid, but then as soon as I get to where the cut crease is, I'm going to really try and cut it nice and harshly so that we can really tell that defined edge. But we are going to go back in and define it again with the crease, so if you mess up a little bit, it's okay. I'm going to go back in with the No Named palette and I'm going to take this white that's in the palette. Did I get some of the orange in there? Oh my god. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pack it onto my lid where we put the white and I'm going to put this on the inner half and then we're going to put a lighter blue on the outer half of the white. So you can put a white shadow down there, it doesn't really matter. 
I'm just not going to because it's an extra step that we don't need to do. Then I'm going to go in with this Beach Cosmetics 120 palette. This is the second edition and I'm going to take, where did it go? I'm going to take this blue right here. It like literally reminds me of Cinderella. This and this both remind me of Cinderella, but I'm going to take this blue. And if you want it to be really intense, I think if you wet it with water or like Fix Plus, that'd be so pretty. And then I'm just going to put this on the outer half of the eye, meaning it up with the white, but I'm going to make it again a gradient effect. So it's going to be darker out here and it's going to gradually fade into this white and I'm just going to flip the brush over just to blend it. So I'm kind of just flicking the product towards my nose, but not literally flicking it or else you'll get product on your nose. I'm going to take this roll-on shimmer from NYX in the shade Platinum. I love these things. They're like my favorite things ever. I'm going to put this right in the center of where the blue and the white meet, and it's really going to blend them beautifully together. It really just adds like that whole like princessy vibe. You know what? I'm going to put it on the whole inner corner. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. Alright, so we're going to put it on the whole inner corner of the eye. Oh my god, so... Okay, we kind of lost the cut crease a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with the no-name palette and I'm going to take my pencil brush wherever it went and I'm going to take more of the black than I am of the blue and then really just go right where the lid and the crease meet. Now we're going to take the tape off and you're left with your fab Cinderella eyeshadow. For under my eyes, I'm just gonna take this light blue and pop that right underneath. But I'm only gonna take this on the outer half. I'm gonna connect it to the line up top. Taking the roller ball shimmer, I'm just gonna take that on my brush and dab that along the like inner half. I'm really not good at multitasking today. I like, can't explain what I'm doing and do it at the same time. I'm gonna rim my waterline with a white eyeliner to give me like a doll-eyed princess eye effect. I'm gonna apply some mascara, or I guess I should say a little bit more mascara. This is the Roller Ball by Benefit. And then because this look is so dramatic with the eyeshadow, Lashes just get drowned out, so I am going to apply false eyelashes. These are by MAC. I am reusing these because you can reuse lashes, fun fact. And I'm just going to apply this onto my eye. I have a tutorial, like a really old one up of how to apply false eyelashes, but I mean, where's my glue? All the tips are still the same and they're still good. So um, it's still the same method that I use too. So I'm gonna link that down below and I think you guys can all enjoy a good laugh anyway of me when I was like seven years old showing how to put on false eyelashes because now I'm 25. I'm just kidding, I'm 16. All right, so once my princess lashes have been applied, okay, I need to like stop looking for products as I start talking to you guys because it's what I do and it's like a bad habit. I just did it again. I'm doing it right now. Once my princess lashes are on, I'm gonna go in with this lower lash mascara and just coat my lower lashes so that they're even and it kind of gives my eye a doll-eyed effect. So for blush, I'm going to go in with the most princess color I own, which is this one. It's by NYX in the shade Full On Femme. And I'm just going to put this on the very apples of my cheeks and just swirl that around. For my lips, I'm going to go with a light pink nude. Now, Cinderella, I feel like, wears red lips a lot, but I think with this look and this blue eyeshadow and red lips, it kind of looks like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. So what I'm going to do is take a nude pink instead. This is Bare to be Bold by Maybelline. And then I want it to be nice and glittery and glossy, so I'm going to take this one by Stila. This is a lip gloss in the shade Kitten, and I'm going to apply this onto my lips. So I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also join the family and click that subscribe button right there. Also, if you happen to miss my last video, it is right there for you guys to check out. If you guys want to stay updated with me in between each upload, which is on Thursdays and on Sundays, I have Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. 
Spotify. All those links are down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out. I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, so I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!